Hey everybody, it's Jamie again with another Verse of the Day devotional. Uh, I am actually going to read you guys a devotional uh, out of a book I've been reading that uh, has really been helping me with how I've been feeling. So Verse of the Day that I posted yesterday was Mark 3, 5. Jesus was angry as he looked around at them. He was deeply hurt because their minds were closed. Then he told the man, hold out your hand. The man held it out and his hand became normal again. When there's something in your life that needs to be done, a change that has to be made, a direction that needs to be taken, ask God to help you and he will. But the important thing to know is that God doesn't do the work for you. He does the work with you. That means you have to get up and move. You have to make the change and as you do, he changes you. Jesus told the man with the withered hand, hold out your hand. And as soon as he did, he was healed. He believed God and reached out his hand because of that belief. God promises victory, but only after action. Is there something in your life you don't like? Something you know needs to be changed? Maybe it's a nasty habit or a bad character trait. Whatever it is, it's your turn to move. If you want victory over the trials that come at you, then don't wait around for the change. Get up and get going. You are a co-laborer with Christ, which means you have to do some of the work. Don't get lazy thinking God will do it all. You have to hear his command, get up and walk, out of Matthew 9, 5, and then trust him enough to get up and move. I hope you guys are able to take something out of that, like I have been. Um, it's really weighed on my heart this week. So uh, let me pray, and then I'll see you next time. Dear Lord, thank you again for a beautiful day that you've given us. Lord, I pray that you put the drive in us, that we know it's not just you. We have to get up and do it. Lord, you help us and you give us strength, Lord, but it is also on us to make changes. Lord, I hope you bring a peace to our country, Lord, with everything that's happening. Bring knowledge and wisdom to those in charge so that they can make the changes that we need, Lord. And I pray that you help us through all of this. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.